Hi, my name is Brooke Friedman. I'm a first year neuroscience P PhD student at Mount Sinai. The summer undergraduate research program was honestly a highlight um, of my, experience, my undergraduate experience. It really attracted me that I could explore different areas of research. I was really interested in human genetics. Um, and so I got to work with Andy Sharp uh, and his lab focuses on genetic genetic variants that contribute to intellectual disability. But really beyond the research, um, I felt like the the program just had so many benefits. So there was like one-on-one -on -one mentorship, there was mock interviews, there was, um, you know, lectures on scientific communication. I felt like that was all really enticing and it made me fall in love with Mount Sinai. My undergraduate was at Notre Dame. Um, and while I was there, I was able to do research using fMRI and EEG, so like human imaging stuff. Uh, and so my senior honors thesis was on how the long-term physiological impact of stress influences the brain, specifically for those that uh, have a risk for Alzheimer's, so that APOE E4 allele. I also did another project uh, on my linguistics capstone actually and that was looking at how being bilingual protects against cognitive decline uh, specifically in Mexican-American immigrants which I thought was super cool and I also spent a summer at the University of Georgia working on adolescence and so specifically how sleep timing impacts the brain um, and how that can later exacerbate issues like anxiety depression in adolescence so you know my my background is very broad um, but I do feel like it really helped me narrow down what I like and what I want to pursue in my PhD so my current interest is computational neurogenetics. I really felt like while I was doing the human imaging data, it's, it's hard to establish causation just because we can't put humans in a box and control every little variable. Um, but those, those questions that I wanted to answer were causal questions. And so that combined with my experience at the summer undergraduate research programs where I worked with um, human genetics made me feel like computational neurogenetics was a really good fit for me. Yeah, so I do feel like a PhD, more so about becoming an expert in your field, I also think it's about learning how to learn. Um, and that is something that I hope to advance during my, my degree. Um, I'm also in the process of starting a new club on campus. It's actually called Mount Sinai Rare. Uh, so we're gonna partner with the National Organization for Rare Disorders to advance um, just advocacy for patients with rare diseases. So through fundraising efforts, through publications, um, that's something that I'm excited about. And beyond that, in the long term, I do really hope to become a teacher one day, like teach at the college level. Uh, both of my parents were school psychologists and uh, I've been around to get education all my life. So it, I do want to gain some teaching experience through the next couple of years. Um, and yeah, beyond that, I just want to publish some papers, make some friends and enjoy New York City.